Hello and welcome to all. The animal kingdom is populated by extremely strange and unusual creatures, which often defy the limits of our imagination. Because if we all know about zebras, giraffes, and leopards thanks to zoos and the multitude of animal documentaries we have watched in the course of our lives. Some animals are still unknown to us, and nature still has many surprises. From turtles with soft shells to a tiny spiny lizard, not forgetting a crab that punches better than Muhammad Ali, you haven't seen anything yet. So, make yourself comfortable because today we're going to discover 10 animals that affect the imagination. The spider-tailed horned viper is a species of snake endemic to Iran and shares a peculiarity almost unique in the world. Indeed, like the rattlesnake, it has an appendage at the end of its tail, but which has nothing to do with the rattle of a rattlesnake. The tail of this viper looks more like a big, plump spider. It is in fact a lure that the spider-tailed viper will be able to shake in all directions, like the famous fisherman of the abyss. And thanks to these jerky movements, it will be able to attract the attention of a hungry bird or a shrew, which will then run without hesitation to this alleged feast. The viper, well camouflaged by its scaly skin that blends easily with the background, will then only have to open its mouth, to seize its prey who will never understand what could have happened to him. We thus find in nature, the expression, such as taken who believed to take, illustrated here, in the cruelest of manners. The fabulous microcosm of insects includes some of the strangest and most unusual species of beetles, such as the famous giant beetle or the rhinoceros beetle. But there is another beetle even more intriguing than all the other representatives of its species, and which also bears the name of an emblematic animal of the African savanna, the giraffe weevil. This weevil endemic to the island of Madagascar has a very long neck similar to that of a giraffe, except that it is equipped with a joint that acts as a hinge. The giraffe weevil can thus use its own neck as a limb in its own right, and which is actually much more powerful and muscular than its own legs. In fact, it is with its long neck that males challenge and fight for the right to mate with a female, just as they do when they fight for the same thing. The boxer crab is a very small crustacean that rarely exceeds 20 millimeters, but which hides a terrible secret weapon, which allows him to knock out opponents 20 times larger than him. Indeed, this tiny crab has real boxing gloves attached to its claws, capable of delivering dazzling punches worthy of Mike Tyson himself. These very intimidating gloves are in fact sea anemones with tentacles sufficiently stinging to deter even the most ferocious appetites. The boxing crab will thus cultivate these anemones on his two claws, and make sure that they are still alive so that they can protect him. This is an example of the use of tools by non-humans, proving once again that nature is full of unfathomable mysteries, and that we still have much to learn. Before continuing, it is time to answer the question of the day and today it is about general culture. Which animal, endemic to Australia, has an extremely powerful bite, allowing it to eat meat and even bones? Is it? Option A. The Tasmanian Devil? Option B, the hyena. Or finally, option C, the serval. Think carefully and write what you think is the right answer in the comments. Answer just before the end of the video. Even if you love pill pill shrimp or grilled, chances are you wouldn't risk having a finger amputated to taste the terrible pistol shrimp. This small crustacean, which measures 3 to 5 centimeters, is armed with a large, massive claw, which acts as a real natural shotgun, and which it uses precisely to hunt its prey. Thus, by suddenly slamming its enormous claw, the pistol shrimp produces a violent detonation of 218 decibels and an intense heat that can reach up to 5000 degrees Celsius, about the same temperature that exists on the surface of the sun. The detonation is also accompanied by a powerful jet of water, admirably accurate like a guided missile, and just as lethal to the poor creature that will receive it head on. It's hard to imagine a scarier insect than the one with the engraving of a human skull on its back, don't you think? The death's head hawkmoth is however a very docile and totally harmless butterfly, despite its terrible appearance and the reputation of misfortune it drags around. For this gigantic butterfly, which can easily reach a wingspan of 13 centimeters, has, in addition to its terrifying dorsal pattern, another extremely disturbing feature. It is able to emit screams and squeaks that can be heard more than 40 meters away when it feels threatened or trapped. These terrifying squeaks added to the rubbing of his wings and the skull that adorns his robe, have thus contributed to giving him this almost mystical role of the announcer of bad omens. It is therefore not surprising that today, many horror films have used it as an ingredient of fear, in the same way as black cats or witches crows. The abysses of the oceans are teeming with surprising marine species that defy the imagination. The proof is this sea cucumber, which trots calmly on the ocean floor to graze the sediments that accumulate there. This curious little animal that seems to have strayed from its farm is in fact a species of sea cucumber, 
which lives at extreme depths, up to 9,500 meters under the water. With seven pairs of big feet, he drags his plump, pinkish body against the currents, and tirelessly scours the ocean floor in search of food. With its diet composed of organic sediment from the surface, this gentle little cucumber, barely 20 centimeters tall, contributes to the health of the oceans. Thus, despite its false air of a peaceful little pig, this very friendly sea cucumber is as essential to the survival of the oceans as plankton or phytoplankton. The I.I. I. is undoubtedly the most mysterious primate of the five continents combined, compiling the characteristics of several animal species on its own, with rodent-like incisors, bat ears, and squirrel tail. However, this is not the only quirk that characterizes this strange primate, endemic to the island of Madagascar, since it is best known for having the third finger of the hand extremely elongated. This incredible physical dimorphism actually allows it to feed, as the eye, eye uses its slender finger, tapping tree trunks to detect the presence of wood-eating insect larvae. Once its prey is located under the bark, it will be able to access it by enlarging the hole and shredding the upper layers with its powerful incisors. He will then only have to plunge his disproportionate finger into the cavity, to skewer his delicious feast of large white worms with his sharp claw. But although the eye, eye is a very peaceful and docile animal, its nocturnal habits and the ghostly appearance it can take on in the darkness of the forest, with its large bulk bulging eyes, gives it a reputation as an evil animal in Malagasy popular culture. Thus, many stupid and senseless legends revolve around this nocturnal primate, and which have pushed the eye, eye to the brink of extinction, following the real witch hunt of which it has been the target. The Cantor's Turtle, also known as the giant soft-shelled turtle, is a reptile that seems to have come straight out of the extravagant fauna of Pandora, the planet from James Cameron's film Avatar. However, this giant turtle, which is nevertheless 2 meters long and weighs more than 50 kilograms, is not the fruit of the fertile imagination of Hollywood screenwriters. It does exist in nature. The Cantor tortoise lives in the fresh waters of rivers and streams, mainly in Asia, where it can be observed in several countries such as India or Indonesia. This prehistoric-looking reptile has the particularity of having a completely smooth and soft shell, like a rubbery skin rigid enough to protect its internal organs, but which makes it very vulnerable to its predators. It is because of this vulnerability that the Cantor tortoise spends more than 95% of its existence buried and immobile in sand or mud. The Moloch Horridus, also called the Thorny Devil, is an animal with a name as thorny as its own body. This saurian endemic to the Australian desert is indeed covered with a multitude of scaly spines, the largest being on its back and especially on its head, with two large horns protruding from its snout. But don't worry, because under its terrible horned appearance is in fact hiding a small lizard, very placid and totally harmless, which feeds mainly on ants. This Lilliputian dinosaur measures only about 20 centimeters at the most, and would weigh only 90 grams for the heaviest. The spiky Moloch relies on its horny scales to deter its predators, who will have a hard time digesting such a spiny meal. Parrotfish are a large family of small fish with shimmering colors and beak-shaped mouths that inhabit tropical coral reefs. With their iridescent robes, these magnificent fish are hard to miss, and some specimens are so beautiful that aquarists all over the world love them. But one of the most unusual and fabulous representatives of this great family of fish is undoubtedly the blue parrotfish. Endowed with a splendid uniform blue color, this pretty parrotfish abounds in the warm waters of the Caribbean, where divers and tourists sometimes come from the end of the world, especially to admire it. Not being fish to be consumed since its flesh is very famous, the blue parrotfish could thus prosper and found large colonies. Some specimens observed have moreover, in the absence of predators, been able to reach considerable dimensions going up to 1.2 meters. A real feast for the eyes, but certainly not for the mouth. So, what do you think of these 10 animals that beautifully affect the imagination? Which of them impressed you the most? Tell us your thoughts in the comments. If not for the answer of the quiz, it is in fact the Tasmanian Devil, which has a strong jaw, and which allows him to have the most powerful bite of all carnivores in the world. I hope that many of you have found the answer.